Welcome to the next tutorial on how to use Noodle tools. In this tutorial we'll cover how to make note cards and how to use the outline feature in Noodle tools. First you're going to pick the project that we're currently working on. I'm going to pick the Grand Trunk Railway and open up that project. And then I'm going to pick the note cards feature in the top toolbar. When this opens you'll see that there's an area on the right hand side for you to create the outline for the project and an area on the left where you can create the note cards. Uh, I used to actually do this the old-fashioned way with three by five inch cue cards. On one side of the cue card I would write the quotation that would support my argument and then on the back of the cue card I would write the information of where I got that source whether it was from a book or a website and then I'd also paraphrase it in my own words and I'd stack these cue cards on the floor into different piles and categories and then try to write my paper from there. On this program, we can combine it all together. So in the outline feature, the main topic um, that we're going to be doing today, I just need to highlight that until it's in blue, is going to be reasons why the Grand Trunk Railway was so important to Canadians. And the growth of Canada as a country. I'm actually going to have three subtopics. The first reason that it was so important was economic. And I'm going to add another subtopic by highlighting the main reason and clicking the plus button. The second reason it was so important was political, because it did tie, tie the country together. And the third subtopic is going to be social and how it changed the way that people communicated and traveled across the country. Then I'm going to start making note cards. Um, you should be as specific in the title of the cards as possible because this is what you will see when they're all stacked on the left hand side of the screen. So I'm going to go economic reasons. And then I'm going to go to an article or a database or a book and I'm going to find the information that is going to help support my argument or the quotation that I want to copy. Um, in Canadian Encyclopedia I came across this article that talks about how difficult the railway actually was for Canadians and what a uh, fiscal disaster that it was and why the Grand Trunk Railway went bankrupt eventually um, falling into the federal government's hands and becoming part of CN Railways. So I'm going to copy this quote, go back to my note cards, and I'm going to paste this quotation in. Okay. And then I'm going to go up to the source. Everything that I've added into my bibliography up to this point will be shown when I click on the Down tab. This particular article was the Canadian Encyclopedia, so I just need to highlight it. I should go back and find the URL and copy that into Noodle Tools. And since there is only one page for the article, I'm just going to leave that blank. Um, there is the ability to tag your note cards and also pile them, but since this is my first note card, I'm not going to do that yet. The important part about the note card, however, is down here on the right hand side. There's an area for you to paraphrase or summarize why this quotation is so important or why this is going to support your argument. And the time that you take thinking about what you want to say here will greatly reduce the time it takes to write your paper later on. So I'm going to say that this uh, quotation is important because this showed how the government overextended itself. And I could go on to elaborate. When I'm done paraphrasing, I'm going to click Save, and that will create my note card over here on the left. I'm then going to click and drag that note card over to the economics, and it will now be listed underneath that subheading with a little check on it once it's been used. I can go on and create new new note cards. I can add them to different piles, I can link them to different sources, and I can tag them. Once I've got enough over here, I'm going to start clicking and dragging them over and start ordering my paper. 
you can actually hand this outline in to your teacher um, by putting it directly in their Dropbox if they've created one, or I can click the, click the print um, button up here on the right hand side and I can print what's here and I can also print the bibliography as well. It gives you both options. When it comes time to actually start writing your paper, if I was to click on paper here, um, it would directly go to Google um, Docs. I would sign into my Gmail account and everything that is in my outline so far and in my bibliography would be automatically exported into my Google Doc. You can also copy and paste that into a Word document